Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm going to show you what I have been calling my accidental worm bin. I had started sifting things and then went on vacation, and there was a bit of a water leak, and so after the water leak, which flooded one of my bins, I don't know how many worms I lost because of it, um, just happened to be a pipe right above one of my worm bins. And so then I was trying to grab all of the good stuff out of the bin and dump out the water, and so I just ended up using a bunch of coconut coir and trying to sop up all the water and trying to rescue maybe if there was a bunch of cocoons in there or something that I could, you know, maybe preserve the population. And it, it is a, a mix of the euros and the reds and the blues. Um, but I tell you, when I got to it, it smelled very funky. In fact, it's still not super unfunky yet. Um, but I haven't been feeding it because it was just so... I don't even know the word. It was not rancid, but it's terrible. I don't know if it was terrible because of the dead worms or if it was terrible because of whatever food or... I don't know. It was just terrible. So looks like I've got quite a few worms in here, but I haven't been feeding it because I thought, well, whatever it was that rotted that smelled really horrible, I wanted them to take care of it, and then once they quit smelling terrible, then I would start feeding them again. But what I'm going to do right now is I've got this second kind of like a metal barrel bin that I use to move things from one place to the other. I'm going to start dumping this out into here to see what I've got on the bottom and maybe that's what it needs right now. It just needs to be aired up. So I'm going to move you over, set you down. Alright, so get these out. I'm just going to start shoveling things over and see what I've got. Looks like a decent population of worms, but it still smells not great. I even put some cardboard in there to try and soak up the water to kind of try and wick it out. Hoping that, you know, putting that along the sides would be good for wicking all the moisture away and um, helping the coconut coir help stabilize the bin and dry it out. Not seeing any food in here other than avocado pits. Looks like even the cardboard's been eaten up or disintegrated because of the all the water. Looks like I still, even with the cardboard being put in the edges, it looks like as I'm going to the bottom here I am seeing it is super wet. Move you over so you can see inside of here. It is really funky. Ugh, cardboard did some of its job of soaking up the water. Alright, so this is the original bin that I was putting cardboard and coconut coir in. And it is very super crumbly and everything because of, geez, I probably used a quarter of a block of coconut coir to try and soak up the water. Yeah, I'm going to keep moving them out though the bottom of this is still very, very, very wet. Oh geez, and there's actually water in the bottom. Ugh. Cannot believe that five pounds of coconut coir did not suck up all that water. I don't know if you can see in there very good. Yeah, those are dead worms. That explains the smell permanently. I still have some more coconut coir. I know this sounds horrible. Okay, well, some of those things are alive down there. They're moving. Um, I know it sounds horrible, but they'll just reabsorb, you know, the the dead worms into the system. So I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater kind of situation. I want to keep the worms that I do have. 
I don't know. Let me know if you think I'm an idiot for doing what I'm doing right now. It's too late. I'm already doing it. But if I had to do over again, and you guys with better advice for the future, can't do anything about stupid now, but maybe next time we can be less stupid. It's kind of a Hail Mary kind of a situation. Hoping to get enough coconut core in here to soak up all the water. I'm trying to normalize this stupid thing. All the liquid down off is gone out of the bottom. Put your comments below, you know, what would you have done? Did you see any other way around, you know, not throwing out the the good worms with the dead? You can tell there's there's still some good live worms in here. And they're still healthy. Um, so I'm just going to leave this particular part of the bin separate so that it can dry out or air out or whatever. I'm kind of freaked out. I didn't know this was going on down here. I thought that I had fixed it the first time. But leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, this is the first time I've had any kind of die-off. Um, aside from like last year's weird business where the African night crawlers were throwing their tails at me. This is the first time I've had any kind of die-off or any calamity. And I've been doing this in over a year now. I guess it was overdue, I suppose. Everybody has to pay their dues. I don't know how many died because of the water leak in the first place or how many died because I didn't check close enough that it had been resolved. But anyway, so su super boring just sitting here looking at this. But here's, here's the situation. I've got it separated into that one and this one. But I'm going to check on it again in a couple of days and, and make sure. All right, guys. Well, I don't know if I deserve a like or not, but, uh, you know, give me a like because I'm trying. Uh, if you want to be a part of my worm family, click subscribe. And uh, if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, hit that uh, bell icon. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, even though this was kind of a tough video. Not No success going on here. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And uh, everybody, have a good day.